This is Marshall Reloading. This is the uh, casting card I've been working off and on though, for a little bit here. Um, the main pipe here is just a piece of six inch pipe. Just uh, people I bought from cut it to length. I just cleaned it up a little bit in the lathe and that made this box configuration up top. The sides are actually tilted at 45. Um, my hope is as you're casting you can throw your sprues and your defect bullets up here. There's a couple of holes that allow the lead to go back into the main pot. Um, I'm hoping that with only liquid going into the main pot you can never really affect the temperature that much. Um, up till now I've been casting with a couple of small lee pots and it's just um, have some trouble with those, kind of frustrated, so I, I built this. Um, the main pot with this heater is on its own controller, as you can see over here. And its temperature probe is away from the heater, so it's just really detecting the fluid. This other heater up underneath here, I have the temperature sensor right with the heater just because I never know if there's going to be very much lead up here or not. So I just wanted the temperature sensor to read the heater to protect that heater. Um, hope to do some more videos here of this with lead. Um, I have run this valve with lead before and it didn't leak a drop. Um, every once in a while it's dripping here. Um, not all that water is from dripping. I've been playing with the valve. I forgot with already running lead through that valve it's clogged up because we're not hot enough to get the lead to flow so it's not flowing too well so hope to do some more videos here soon for you guys to show you some lead in it and uh, maybe show you a couple of tricks you can do with uh, PID controllers in a melting pot